Nacho Figueras reveals Meghan Markle tricked Prince Harry into selling his two horses. When playing polo in California, Prince Harry lost control of his mount. The 37-year-old father of two was playing at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club when he fell, but he quickly got to his feet and continued. In dramatic photos, the Duke of Sussex is seen being thrown to the ground as other polo players rush to his aid. Harry is shown centering himself on his knees before continuing the chukka on a different horse. Witnesses reported that the Duke used up three polo horses in just one hour, which is extremely taxing for the animals. But, his wife Meghan Markle was not present to see his embarrassing tumble, saving him from blushing. Harry and his brother Prince William, who is rumored to have given up the risky sport, are also polo enthusiasts. When he was 57 years old, their father Prince Charles, who had largely participated in charity matches since 1992, ultimately withdrew from competitive polo after playing into his 40s. Harry's first public appearance since arriving in Los Angeles from England following the Golden Jubilee was at the polo match. Despite being excluded from the festivities, it allowed Harry and Meghan to present their infant daughter Lilibet to the Queen on her first birthday. According to a previous story, the couple was requested not to bring a photographer to record the meeting. This was believed to be the case because the palace did not want a picture of the Queen seeing Lilibet for the first time to overshadow the Jubilee. Although Nacho Figueras has been labeled the David Beckham of Polo, who is he really, in the first three episodes of the couple's Netflix documentary, which debuted on the streaming service yesterday, the father of four was one of a select group of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's closest friends. The 45-year-old Argentine has been a strong admirer of the Duke and Duchess, he was present during the couple's courtship and later attended their wedding. He called Meghan amazing and lauded the former actress for giving up everything for the man she loves during his interview in the docuseries first episode. He revealed how, soon after the prince met Meghan Markle in 2017, he and his wife, Delphina Blackyear, had dinner with Prince Harry. He turned to face us and said, Guys, I met a girl. We've only met, but I think this might be the one, Nacho recalled. Their eyes were those of someone who had fallen in love, you could tell immediately away. He remarked, they were both going to spend actual time with one other so he claimed it was either going to work or not while speaking of the couple's romantic journey to Botswana. On The Ellen Show in 2019, Nacho declared he would gladly protect his pals with his life. The millionaire said to Town & Country magazine in the same year, what I appreciate most about, Harry, is how real he is and how sincere he is about changing life for people who have not had the benefits that we've enjoyed. In 2019, Nacho released six different fragrances, including one called Windsor that alluded to a brotherhood of kindred spirits with the Duke. Nacho is said to be worth $30 million. In 2019, he was among the first to meet Archie, the son of Meghan and Harry who is a major character in the upcoming Royals television series. Nacho and Harry have made no secret of their friendship throughout the years, especially while they're having fun at polo games. When they play polo together at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club, where they are teammates on the Los Padres team, they put up a particularly tactile performance. One of the best polo players in the world, the dashing professional has also been dubbed the David Beckham of polo. Along with his success on the field, he has been modeling for Ralph Lauren since 2000. He has a six-goal handicap. Although the athlete started his career to make some additional money and promote his favorite sport, Modeling was never his primary objective. At a party in the Hamptons hosted by Calvin Klein's ex-wife Kelly, who pushed him to start modeling, he was approached by photographer Bruce Weber, 